Now in this part, the force P newtons is replaced by a force of 30 newtons. So let's just change that to 30 newtons. We'll just delete that and we've got 30 newtons now for P. And we're asked to find the direction of the frictional force acting on the particle. Now, what happens is that in the previous part, we found that the maximum value of P, which caused the particle to want to move upwards, was 120 newtons. So we've reduced that down to 30 newtons. So that means the particle is going to want to move down the plane. And if it's going to want to move down the plane, then friction must oppose motion. So it's going to act up the plane. So we'll put that frictional force there and we'll call it F. Now it's in equilibrium, okay? We're told that the particle's in equilibrium. So therefore, the component down the plane must equal the component up the plane. Well, let's just resolve basically down the plane. So if we resolve down the plane, then what we've got is, well, if we just do a dotted line down there, you can see R won't have any effect in this direction because it's perpendicular. But the 120 newtons, part of it does act down the plane. We can split the 120 newtons into two components, one into the plane and one down the plane. The one into the plane has no effect because it's perpendicular to this direction. But the one down the plane acts in the positive sense. So what would it be? It will be 120 sine alpha because it doesn't include this angle here. So it's 120 sine alpha is the effective force down the plane coming from the weight. Now, these two forces, the 30 newtons and the F, act in the opposite direction to the direction we've got here. So they're going to be minus 30 minus the F. And this is the resultant force. The particle, we're told, is in equilibrium still, so it's going to be equal to zero. So to get F, all I need to do is just add F to both sides. So we'd get F equals 120 sine alpha minus 30. And if we put in our value for sine alpha, we've got 120 sine of alpha is opposite over hypotenuse, 3 over 5, 3 fifths, and then minus the 30. So if you do 120 times 3 fifths minus 30, you find that you get a frictional force F of 42 newtons. And you can see the direction of it, it's just up the plane. So let's just put the direction, because we were asked to find the direction. The direction is up the plane. Okay, so I hope that's given you some idea then how to go about that question.